Hey guys! Today we are going to be chatting all about Gmail. Um, if you don't have Gmail, you should get it because it's pretty awesome. Not going to lie. This is where I integrate all of my emails. So I have three. I have one for my business. I have one for my blog. And then I have my just regular Gmail account. But what's great about Gmail is you can integrate all of them into one. And it Gmail makes it really easy to organize your life with labels and filters, which we are going to chat about. So let's dive right in. Um, um, first of all, I will be doing another video about how to integrate and get, um, your blog email or any emails that you may have within Gmail. Super simple. We'll get you hooked up. But today we're just going to be chatting all about getting organized. So as you will see on the left hand side, you'll see all these different colors that I have. And these are all labels. Um, and I'll, I'll walk you through how to get those set up. And within my feed, you can see I have some colors going on, um, that sort of thing. So I know exactly where that email's coming from and it can quickly be housed in one of these filters. So for instance, you can see I have all these filtered out. Okay. So first things first is we're going to figure out and I'm going to show you how to create a label. So we'll go up to this gear in the right hand corner and we'll go down to settings. In here, you'll see the tab that is labeled labels. Um, and we'll scroll down. There is going to be a button right here that says create new label. We'll click on that and you can name it whatever you want. So I'm just going to create a new one. We're going to go with just test. You can nest it under another another label that you have. I typically don't. I just create them all new and I hit create. And that's really all you do. And you can see right here, it's already been added. Um, and you can see it down here. I have tons of different labels, but you'll see it down here. You can remove it and edit it right in this area on the back end. <clears throat> So what Gmail doesn't allow you to do on this back end, <clears throat> excuse me, in the label section is make this a certain color. But what you can do on the left hand side here is you, you can see this little arrow, you'll click on that. And you'll go all the way up to label color and you can choose whatever you want. Um, we will make this one for today. We'll just make it orange. Okay. So then once it's labeled, once you create this label, you'll go, you'll want to create a filter. So I already have a few different filters. For instance, I have um, a bloggers on Pinterest, Pinterest group board, okay, that I run and have people sending me emails wanting to contribute and wanting to get added to this group, Pinterest board. So what I tell them that they need to do is create, send me an email with this specific email subject line. And what they have to send me is bloggers on Pinterest. So this filters everything out. So I have them all in one place, makes it super simple. And I'll show you how this is set up. So it's the only thing I really have added is just the subject line bloggers on Pinterest. So whenever that comes in, as you can see in the back right here, all of these get sent to the same place and have the same label. Okay. So what I did create the subject line. I clicked continue. You can have all of these different options for how you want to filter it out. But all I did was I applied this label. Um, cause I already had created it just like we did with this test. I had already created it. And I just went down to bloggers on Pinterest, applied the label and updated it. So whenever someone sent me an email with that subject line, it would automatically get this color to show me when it comes in. Plus I can now go over to this bloggers on Pinterest and see all the different ones that come in and, um, just kind of go through it that way. It makes it super simple. Okay. So, 
So for this test one that we did, let's create a filter for it. So we'll go over to this tab. It's called Filters and Block Addresses. Um, and we it'll say right here, create a new filter. Multiple things you can do. So you can have it if it's from a certain person um, or a certain email that you have, you can type it in here. If it's to a certain email address that you have, so let's say I want to only have my Nicole at uniquelywomen.net email address um, filtered into this label. Um, once again, you can have a subject line. You can do, okay, if this email has the words, whatever you want it to make it. Um, you can do it that way, has an attachment, all these different things you can filter out. So then once you're done with that, you can um, create filter within the search. And of course, since we created the label, we created test. I'm going to go down to test. Um, you can do a bunch of different things, like I said, with this as well, but that's just what I've had. You can also, another thing I like is if you have something that's in your, um, that you get on a constant basis from a company or something, and you can choose this category and have it go to your social or promotions tab. That's another option. But for this instance, we're just going to apply the label test create the filter, and everything will be set up. Um, yeah, and so one more thing I wanted to mention too is I like to star. So you can star different emails. So if I have someone that emails me and I see it, but I don't have time to respond right away, I'll just quickly star it. And so at the end of the day or whenever I'm checking my emails, I'll know which ones need the most attention. Um, and that I need to respond to. And so I have this star folder. You can go there and it shows all the different ones that I have. And so whenever I'm, I'm done with that specific email or I followed up or whatever needs to happen, I'll unstar it. And so then I have everything all organized for me. So I hope this was helpful. Once again, if you have any questions about you know, creating labels, creating filters, um, feel free to message me. Um, feel free to send me an email at nicoleweeklywomen.net um, or below this video. You can comment, let me know, um, and I'd be happy to answer any questions you may have. So in the meantime, we are going to be doing more and more screen shares, showing you how to get your life organized, how to do um, social media hacks, different tips. So be on the lookout. Um, until then, friends, have a good day. Bye.